So today I'm going to make some pigs in the blanket. Very simple to do. I just used crescent rolls out of a can, uh, added a, some cheese, some jalapenos, do what you want with it. You can also just use your own dough of whatever, any biscuit dough you want. But this was simple and here is how I did it. It's very simple. Well, come in. We're going to use some crescent dough sheets here. So I'm just going to demonstrate how I did this. You can use any dough you prefer. If you want to make any biscuit dough, whatever it is, I'm using crescent dough. And just basically going to go ahead and put a slit down the hot dog so I can fill it. I could also wrap stuff around it. Whatever it is you want, that's going to be fine. We opted to do some Kobe Jack cheese. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and slice up a little bit of that. You'll see here, just slice up a little bit. And then in here in a second, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the hot dog. And I went ahead and sliced them so that they are fairly close to the size of the hot dog. And I'm just going to go ahead and place those inside the weenie. And if you've watched any of my channels, you know I love spicy stuff. Today we're going with serrano peppers. Usually I do jalapenos. Um, and I may slip up and call this a jalapeno somewhere in this video, but they're serranos. And then we're just going to go ahead and wrap the hot dog up with that crescent uh, dough. And I went ahead and put on the edges there to completely cover it up. And then just kind of cut off any excess. Uh, but to finalize it, I went ahead and added a little butter as well. And just give it a little butter bath on top and all around because I also decided to add some seasoning. You know, do what you want. Experiment. Look at that nice little butter on there. And I just threw some SPG all over it. A little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic. Put it on both sides and it's just about time to go on that grill. And here they are right here. I went ahead and added some SPG, SPG seasoning to them as a little flavor. Now, one of these does not have jalapenos, the rest do. They all have cheese. And uh, we're just gonna they're put also, them on here. And honestly, with those little ingredients, it's still good. You know, a little seasoning on it if you want to. Here, you wanna hold the camera, bud? Okay. Right over here. Yeah. Hold it. There we go. If you guys wanna see, here's the yummy pig blankets right there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put these on. Sizzling, I already feel them. Oh my gosh. It's very hot outside today. So, it's going to make this a hot day. Um, but, they're looking good. I'm also going to go ahead and throw these in the uh, kind of so it don't get too hot. Yeah, or else that would be bad. And you could catch your um, garden on fire. So, we don't want that. So there they are. We're just going to let them cook a while until uh, the dough gets brown and done. I'm not using any smoke. I didn't want to overpower these. This is straight charcoal. And of course yeah, you could do this in the oven, but we're doing it okey smoking style. Yep, oaky smoking style. I'm to make sure I have that crack there. Let me put that there. we go. So I'm just going to let them cook about a half hour or so and uh, I'll check on them. I'll check on them sooner to make sure they don't burn or anything. Uh, something new I haven't yet done. I just remember pigs in the blanket uh, back when I was in school and these are great for its perfect time. Football food, you could rip, whip up a, a dozen of these. You could even cut the hot dogs in half, make them mini or cut them in half, um, add whatever you want to them. So we're going to check it out here in a minute after these are done and uh, give it a quick taste test and see how they come out. Hopefully they come out well. Yeah. We'll be back here in a bit. So we've already got them out of the pit barrel because they were getting done. I didn't want them to burn and it only took about 15 minutes. They were getting uh, 
real hot, real nice and brown and crisp, you can see here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and cut into these. And the Oki fam is going to try it out. Let's see. Looks good. It smells good. Too. So there's that. We got the jalapeno, get some cheese in there. Let me go ahead and give this a try. Mmm. That's really good. You want to try some? Cut up little pieces. I think also a little ketchup on one. I'd say go good, real good. You got some like cheese sauce, dip it in. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Ooh, you should have bought some cheese sauce, babe. Mm. That would have been good. Mm. Mm. Very cheese. Right, it tastes good. Okay. It's good. I got pizza. I didn't really have no cheese or jalapeno in it. It was just hot dog. It was just big in a blanket. <laughs> it was good and stuff. But if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Here. So, yeah, you can see how one side on this one did get burned just a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, so, I'm going to do this again. I have another batch of these. And I think. Flipping them would probably be key. Uh, flip them part of the way through. And really, it don't take that long to cook these. So no. keep an eye on them 10, 15 minutes. And keep an eye on them. It will taste good for you. And it's also crunchy. Hmm. So have a great day. We'll see you soon in the next video.